In fluid dynamics, wave shoaling is the effect by which surface waves entering shallow water change in wave height. It is caused by the fact that the group velocity, which is also the wave energy transport velocity, changes with water depth. Under stationary conditions, a decrease in transport speed must be compensated by an increase in energy density in order to maintain a constant energy flux. Shoaling waves will also exhibit a reduction in wavelength while the frequency remains constant. In shallow water and parallel depth contours, non-breaking waves will increase in wave height as the wave packet enters shallower water. This is particularly evident for tsunamis as they wax in height when approaching a coastline, with devastating results. Topic. Overview Waves nearing the coast change wave height through different effects. Some of the important wave processes are refraction, diffraction, reflection, wave breaking, wave current interaction, friction, wave growth due to the wind, and wave shoaling. In the absence of the other effects, wave shoaling is the change of wave height that occurs solely due to changes in mean water depth, without changes in wave propagation direction and dissipation. Pure wave shoaling occurs for long crested waves propagating perpendicular to the parallel depth contour lines of a mildly sloping seabed. Then the wave height h display style h at a certain location can be expressed as h equals k s h 0 display style h equals k underscore s h underscore 0 K S display style K underscore S the shoaling coefficient and H zero display style H underscore zero the wave height in deep water the shoaling coefficient K S display style K underscore S depends on the local water depth H display style H and the wave frequency f display style f or equivalently on h display style h and the wave period t equals 1 f display style t equals 1 f deep water means that the waves are hardly affected by the seabed which occurs when the depth h Display style h is larger than about half the deep water wavelength. L zero equals g t two two pi. Display style l underscore zero equals g t caret two two pi. Topic physics. For non-breaking waves, the energy flux associated with the wave motion, which is the product of the wave energy density with the group velocity, between two wave rays is a conserved quantity i.e. a constant when following the energy of a wave packet from one location to another. Under stationary conditions the total energy transport must be constant along the wave ray, as first shown by William Burnside in 1915. For waves affected by refraction and shoaling i.e. within the geometric optics approximation, the rate of change of the wave energy transport is d d s b c g e equals 0 display style frac d d s b c underscore g e equals 0 where s Display style s is the coordinate along the wave ray and b c g e display style b c underscore g e is the energy flux per unit crest length. A decrease in group speed c g display style c underscore g and distance between the wave rays b display style b must be compensated by an increase in energy density e display style e 
This can be formulated as a shoaling coefficient relative to the wave height in deep water. For shallow water, when the wavelength is much larger than the water depth, in case of a constant ray distance b, display style b, i.e., perpendicular wave incidence on a coast with parallel depth contours, wave shoaling satisfies Green's law. H H four equals constant display style H sqrt four H equals text constant with H display style H the mean water depth H display style H the wave height and H four Display style sqrt 4 h. The fourth root of h. Display style h. Topic: Water wave refraction. Following Phillips 1977 and May 1989, denote the phase of a wave ray as s equals s x t 0 s 2 pi. Display style s equals s math bf x t q quad 0 leq s. The local wave number vector is the gradient of the phase function k equals s. Display style math bf k equals nabla s, and the angular frequency is proportional to its local rate of change. Omega equals minus s t. Display style omega equals pi. Partial s, partial t, simplifying to one dimension and cross differentiating it is now easily seen that the above definitions indicate simply that the rate of change of wave number is balanced by the convergence of the frequency along array k t plus omega x equals zero. Display style frac partial k partial t plus frac partial omega partial x equals zero. Assuming stationary conditions, t equals zero. Display style partial partial t equals zero. This implies that wave crests are conserved and the frequency must remain constant along a wave ray as omega x equals 0 display style partial omega partial x equals 0 as waves enter shallower waters the decrease in group velocity caused by the reduction in water depth leads to a reduction in wavelength lambda equals 2 pi k display style lambda equals 2 pi k because the non-dispersive shallow water limit of the dispersion relation for the wave phase speed omega k c equals g h display style omega k equivalent c equals sqrt g h dictates that k equals omega g h Display style k equals omega sqrt gh, i.e. a steady increase in k, decrease in lambda. Display style lambda. As the phase speed decreases under constant omega. Display style omega. Topic. See also. Topic Notes Topic External Links Wave Transformation at Coastal Wiki